Hello, hello. Welcome and happy Saturday. I'm super excited to be here today. I'm looking forward to starting my biking costume. I am Christina and I am super avid about cycling and costumes and this month is Women's History Month and I was doing some fun research and came across Amelia Bloomer and really got inspired and super excited to be drafting some bloomers. And I figured it would be kind of fun to be drafting live and just see kind of what's happening and see how people are doing. And then you guys can see how I use my slopers that I already have in Adobe Illustrator to create new patterns and really get them started. So let me bring up my, oh, I already have my screen up. I had the wrong screen up to start. That's okay. <laughs> so I am using StreamYard. So if you guys leave comments or drop a quick hello or anything, if you have not accepted StreamYard's uh, little things, I might not be able to see who you are, but I would definitely love it if you dropped a hello. So let's get pattern drafting. I'm going to start manipulating this fun pattern. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be combining my front and back slopers into one pattern. So I'm, all, I'm not going to have a side seam on this pattern. I'm just going to have an inseam. And I'm going to draft it so that it has a little bit of ease to be a little bit gathered in at the waist. So I'm going to start by, I should have done a calculation. Let's see here. Hmm. Let's do 32 at zero. Hello, Facebook user. And I'm gonna go here and I'm just gonna line these up. So this line here is my what I want my half of it to be. It'll give me a little bit of ease to go in. And as I'm looking at it, I think I'm going to want to actually make it just a little bit longer. Yeah, we'll go to 34 and a half. That looks good. Now I've already ungrouped my pattern, so I have to make sure that I keep it. It looks like I've already lost my little, one of my little guys. So let's pull him on over. We go. I'll have to double check him and make sure that he is actually right. Okay. So now that I kind of have my patterns laid out about where I want to do, I'm going to just trace them out. And we're going to create a new layer. I want to make sure I'm on that layer. Cool. And I'm going to lock those other layers so I can't manipulate them. Get my pen tool back out. And actually, are you lined up? That's a good question. Let's go. So you are not. So before I keep moving, I saw that this is just about mm, a smidge higher. So now I'm going to shift, highlight all these guys. And I'm just gonna lower it. Mm, come on. so that the notches line up. There we go. So now that I, I now I know these are much can be closer. That's those are my notches to make sure that my pattern is even and true. And now that they are actually lined up, I know that I can make this pattern better. So, now let's move back to these bloomers and get Drafting. So I'm just going to click. 
I'm jumping ahead again. Oh my goodness. So the other thing that I want to do is find right here and I want to drop a line and I want to drop a line. What is my waist to knee is 25. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go 30 because I want it to hit about mid calf and I want it to be drafted at 270. And let's make sure that line is filled. There we go. So that's, that's going to give me a guideline of how far down I want my uh, leggings to go. My leggings, my bloomers. And now we're going to pen out this pattern. Nice and simple. Line it up. There we go. Now, if I actually left it like this, I would have quite a wide leg. So we are going to go in and fix that guy up. And anchor. And he's just slightly off. I didn't start right at the beginning. There we go. I can now hide some of those others. And there's the actual base layer of my bloomers. So that is one half. But this bottom hem right now is measuring at <laughs> 38 inches. That's a lot. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to curve that in just a little bit more. We are going to, let's see here, how much do I want to be gathered around my hem? My calf, I could do double, which would be about 30. So let's go and draft a... Line on two seventy. Going to transform and move it horizontally, negative fifteen. And we're going to undo that because we're going to move it negative fifteen. And we're going to copy it. We're going to transform, move. We're going to do 15 this time. And OK. We're actually not going to bring it in too, too much, which is great. So all I'm going to do is, that was my measurement, get it out of there, get my anchor, direct select. Move these, and now that is also, I'm gonna have to arc those a little bit because if I leave it just like it is, it's gonna cause a very funky pattern. Pull you straight in. So first what I'm going to do is, Get my full select, copy, mm. wrong full select, full select, get the whole thing. Okay, come on. Copy, paste, there we go. And now I'm going to true it up. So now I have either side and I'm going to rotate it. And you can see I have two different lengths of pant size here. And I also want to true up this guy because you want a nice, smooth transition between your... Um, 
seams. Because if you have, if you don't have that perfect, nice transition there, you're going to have like little points or little divots and your patterns are not going to be happy. So I always try to go back through and true everything up. We're going to get some of this stuff out of here. And I'm just going to lengthen this to that. And you can see that's also still not true. So what we want to do, we can either bring up uh, one of our tools like our oh, French curves. I hit it for myself. Or we can do like a pen and get a nice smooth, something like that. And that would lengthen the pants again. Or we can bring up, so I can also put a line here. And go one inch at 80. And then we're going to transform and move him. Uh, negative one. And let's zoom out because we're going to want to do the same on this guy. Bring him straight down. But yeah, the pattern piece did. I only saw part of that pattern. I was like, wait, where's the other part of it? It's still there. It's just hiding from me a little bit. Then I'm going to move this guy. Also, he's going to be on a... And then we're going to rotate him off of that point so that he is one inch... Nope, that is not where we're going to go with that. We're just going to do a line. At one inch. Oops. And now we're going to rotate that line. Boop. And we're going to mark that. Just like that. Cool. So then we can do a center. Okay, stop being cranky with me. And get it. Hmm. You're still wanting, okay. We're going to give it one more line. One more, there we go. Yeah. Oh, now that I have that, so this is gonna be my new pattern. So I'm gonna have to go back and actually true it up because I have two pattern pieces, each half that have the right one. So now I need to make sure and get it so that one pattern piece has everything. So I'm going to zoom back in on this guy and we're going to add, actually we're going to delete that guy first and we're going to add a point there and we're going to move, oh I have two there, I only want one. So we're now going to move guy up and we're going to curve him and make him fit that angle like so. Now what we're going to do, don't need that line. What we need to do is we need to make sure that we grab this entire piece, which means I need to cut that piece because he is attached to that side. Yep, now I have that all. And we're going to move him over and connect him up here. Rotate. Get it nice and lined up. And then 
There we go. So should have done him in a different color. That's okay. But what we're going to do is now we're going to line up that back piece with the front one. So that's the front. Get this line. Down to that one. And curve it. There we go. Wrong one. Let's go for the select. And there we have it. And delete some of these extra guys. So that is one leg of my bloomers. I have my waistband over here that's ready that is marked with the side uh, front and back and side and back and then it closes center back. Um, what I'll probably have to do is just make it a waistband that is actually equal to this because the waistband will not fit me exactly. It's going to be gathered in with elastic. So we're going to measure 33 and a half. So I'm going to bring up a square and do 33 and a half is 67. We're going to do one, just going to do one inch elastic. And we're going to give you a little bit of ease. So we're going to do one and a half. We'll go with three and add seam allowance. And so there we have the waistband. And I could go through and actually like mark where, actually I should do that. So let me grab my calculator. Gotta love that we have calculators in our pockets now. Okay. So I'm going to draft a line five at 90. Fill. And we're going to move him and move him. Horizontal 16.750. We're going to copy, transform, move, 16, copy, transform, move, copy, and double check that my math was correct. Copy. There we go. So that is the waistband. If you are interested in the key commands that I am using, I actually have linked in the description the key commands packet that I use all the time and my measurement sheet. If you, it's it's how I can be moving between all these tools so quickly. Uh, you once you get patterning and used to them. They are a time saver. I highly, highly recommend it. So definitely check down in the comments for those tools. I also have a series going on YouTube that's doing us a deep dive into each individual tool paired two or three tools together. So definitely also check that out. And the last thing I'm going to do is just put some lines on here for my grain line. We're gonna go 20 since it's a long one, why not? And this just helps me make sure that I can come back later and know what I was thinking, know what the pattern was for, um, or it's also very helpful if you have, if you, or having somebody else build it, which in theater, we sometimes make our own patterns and then pass them off to somebody else. So if you have little notches and 
uh, instructions on it. They can sometimes cut it out for you if you have a first hand or you can um, have your stitcher know what you're thinking. So this is expand bloomers. Thank you. And let's make that nice and big. One. Hit V too soon. V is how I change the size. And then I'm actually going to group that guy. Did I group the entire thing I did? Okay, so ungroup. I just want that guy. I'm going to move him all the way up to the top because I also want to put a line right down the center. We'll do 37. The line, okay. And then we're going to come up here. We're going to dash that line so that they know it is a folding line. Cancel. Cancel. <laughs> line that up. Cancel. <laughs> Helps when you actually have the right stuff up. And we're going to group that. And the last thing we're going to do is the same thing on this guy. So we're going to drop it at 20, at 270. And now all I will have to do is go out and find some fabric. I am super excited to go find some fabric for these bloomers. It is not February, it is March. I love when you sometimes mess up that date, huh? There we have it. So that is me drafting my bloomers. Super quick, super easy for how I actually took my sloper into these bloomers. And it only took about 24 minutes and I'm ready to print these off and make it. Super excited. If you are interested in seeing the replay of my latest masterclass to help you really get started in digitally apparel drafting, I will also drop that link down below. And if you have any other questions about digitally apparel patterning, I would love to know what they are. I am super excited that you joined me today in drafting these women's bloomers. And I hope to see you again soon. <laughs> Bye.